I'm Mark. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Do you really want a pizza for breakfast? They're gonna come over tonight. He has to do a lot of homework for tomorrow. I want to see her as soon as possible. Tell them I'm not going with them. Those men are kind of crazy. In this lesson, we're gonna take a look at slang contractions, so stay tuned. I'd like to start this lesson by reminding you that English, like any other language, is ever evolving. And what is now considered slang may or may not be slang in 50 years time. This is the reason I'm having this lesson now. Be careful though, this is not considered correct English. It's only slang and we use it when we speak. So do not write a formal letter using these contractions, please. So let's start with American slang contractions. I've divided the lesson in five groups. Let's start with the first group, auxiliaries. My introductory example was, do you really want pizza for breakfast? So, dear, dear, do you, do you. So, do, ya would be do you. Till, do you really want pizza for breakfast? So let's take a look at the second example. We ain't stupid. We ain't stupid. So ain't. Ain't is used to mean I am not, is not, are not. Or even have not or has not. And in some areas of the United States, you can even use it to replace do, does, did, plus not. So ain't. Let's take a look at the third example. They're gonna come over tonight. Gonna means they're going to. They are going to. So it replaces the verb to be plus going to. Let's take a look at the second group. Main verbs and modal verbs. For example, he has to do a lot of homework for tomorrow. So this is when we speak, we, we pronounce he has to. Sasta. Ta means to. He has to do lada. Lada, it means a lot of homework for tomorrow. So he has to do a lot of homework for tomorrow. Let's take a look at the second example. People in the UK have to drive on the left side of the road. So have to. Have to means have to. So have to. Okay. People in the UK have to drive on the left side of the road. Let's take a look at another example. I want to see her as soon as possible. So here we have Wanna. Wanna means want to. I want to see, and then we have a personal object pronoun, er, as soon as possible. I want to see her as soon as possible. So er replaces her, and I will talk about that in a minute. So I said wanna, want to. And the fourth example is, I gotta visit my grandmother soon. Here, got to is replaced by gotta. I gotta visit my grandmother soon. Then we have the third group. Main verbs with personal object pronouns. So tell them I'm not going with them. Here we have tell them. Tell them or tell him. So tell them or tell him. I'm not going, going without the G. So we replace it with the apostrophe with them or with him, right? Now, another example. Let me, let me see what you got for Christmas. Let me. And the last example for this group, give her that, will ya? So give her, this is what it means. Give her, will you, will ya, will ya? So I'm going to erase this and we're going to take a look at two other groups. So we're back. Let me remind you that if you want to watch other lessons on slang, you may click here. Now we're going to look at two other uses of slang contractions. So the first one, expressions. Expressions, so with of, with of. For example, those men are kinda crazy. Kinda, kind of. So kinda, kinda crazy. Those men are kinda crazy. The next example, they are sorta traveling across Europe. Sorta, so sort of. Another example with out of. 
John was out of the house in a sec. So, out of. Another usage, and this is mainly in British English, would you like a cup of tea? So, cup of. Cup of. This is what it means. Cup of. Now, let's take a look at the final group. General expressions. I do know what I'm going to do for my birthday. So, we have dinner, which means I don't know what I'm gonna, I'm going to do for my birthday. So let's take a look at another expression. What you doing? Whatcha? Whatcha doing? So what are you doing? What are you doing? Whatcha doing? Another expression. Come on, hurry up. C come on, come on. You will see the C with an apostrophe and mon. So instead of writing come on, come on, like here, we uh, put an apostrophe after the C. So come on, hurry up. And the last example, my cousin is coming over any minute now. Cuz in this case means cousin, but it can also mean because. Remember that this lesson is about slang and it's not considered correct. So pay attention. I wrote now a perfect English example and I want you to write it in slang. Okay, so next week I'm going to see them all in class because we got to write an exam. Well, that's it for today. If you have any comments or requests, you may type them under this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.